All right, hello internet. This video, I just kind of wanted to share with you, I have found a very useful uh, utility. It's actually an app that you can download from the Mac App Store onto your laptop or any Mac device for that matter. And it's a very useful tool for searching your computers for documents as well as if you want to search something on Google real quick. I have found myself, I'm no longer clicking that Safari link um, right here and then going to Google, searching. I can do it all from one little app. So, first I'm going to show you how to get Alfred. Uh, Alfred is the name of this utility. Um, first you go and you open up your Mac App Store and simply just search Alfred. Alright, and it's this one right here. It's a productivity little tool. And so it's already installed for me, but usually you'll click install. And if you've ever installed something from the App Store, you know that it just pops up on your dock and mine is right there and it'll start to load. So once you get Alfred downloaded, um, just click on it and you're gonna get popped up with this little window. Now to change preferences, um, when you first open your Alfred, it is going to take you to this preference panel. And here you can see your general settings where it'll tell you, how do I wanna open Alfred? Um, for me, uh, the whole point of this Alfred is not having to click on anything. So mine is simply my option key and my space bar. And so that is how I open Alfred, just that little window. It pops up. And then if you just want to go back away, click anywhere else and it'll go away. So here you can change your features of what you want to search for. You can tell it to search um, applications, preferences, folders. Um, any of these options are available. So I have it that it searched my documents. So I can open up documents um, just as fast as I can any web searches. So that is the preference panel. Uh, most of the things you can leave on default, uh, it comes with pretty good settings, uh, but if you want, do want to customize it, it is an option. So let me show you some of the usefulness. All right, so I tap my option spacebar and it pops right up. Let's say I want to Google Creighton University. All right, so even I could have stopped back here and it's still gonna give me Creighton University, um, but I'm gonna type it all in. And then all I hit, the top preference right here is search Google. You can also, you can use either the command one, command two, command three, or you can scroll down with your arrows, however you please, and hit enter. Let's, I don't want to search Wikipedia though. I would like to search Google, hit enter. It opens up your default browser and a Google search for whatever you typed in. Very fast, very convenient, um, an overall great utility. The other thing I like about Alfred, let's pop it up again, option spacebar. Let's say I want to search for a document on my computer. I just start typing it in. I know I have a FASB project and I need to open it up. Again, just click enter and there it is. Just very fast, um, very efficient. Doesn't slow down your computer at all. It's always there. Um, one of those utilities that's always running in the background, you can always, it always pops up so it's, it's very fast, but one that also doesn't drain your battery. Um, so that is Alfred. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it's a little good how-to. Um, and uh, it's all a great utility. All of you should have installed on your Mac computers. So uh, if you have any questions, email me at uyghurtech at gmail.com. Or you can also tweet me at mweger And follow me on my blog, which is www.uyghurtech.com.